What's really good fam? It is your boy, David Brand New, uh, back with another video for you all. Uh. And today we got another banger video. And that is because we have another e-bike to review. This one's by a company called Hi Boy. I've reviewed a couple of their bikes in the past. This one is the EX6. Alright guys, bike is fully assembled. This is the High Boy EX6. Let's go over some of the components and then we'll take it for its first ride. So off top, this bike is rocking some 20 by four inch fat tires. You guys know that's my favorite type of tire right there. We have a front suspension fork. It's not like top of the line. You have no adjustments on the top. This bike does come with fenders. So that's good for anybody that lives in a rainy area. Here's the headlight. It also has a rear light. I believe this is gonna be a brake light. So when you engage the brakes, it will flash or it will get brighter. Here's the dash. So we have half twist throttle right here on the right hand side. We have these ergonomic grips. Here's gonna be your Shimano seven speed shifter. This is the one that I really don't like. And then right here's gonna be your mechanical disc brakes. Here's gonna be your LCD screen, pretty basic. It's not gonna be a color LCD, but it definitely tells you everything that you need to know. So you got miles per hour, you got what pedal assist you're in, tells you your battery level, and here's the odometer. We haven't put any miles on this bike. Over here, we have the headlight button. So you push that, you turn on the lights, and then we have a horn. Super loud. Moving to the handlebars, it does have these ugly swept back handlebars. You can easily change those out. And also you can adjust the angle right here. And then moving to the rear of the bike here is gonna be your battery. This one's gonna be a 48 volt, 15 amp hour battery. This bike also has a rear rack. This one doesn't look too beefy. I'm sure it holds a decent amount of weight, but I wouldn't put a child on the back of this freaking bike. And then here's the motor. This is gonna be a 500 watt motor. We're gonna see what the peak power is. We're gonna put it up a hill climb, top speed run. Hopefully it's not underpowered, we'll see. And then right here is gonna be the Shimano Turney derailleur. And yeah, here's another overall shot of the bike. Let me know what you guys think about it. It's cool. I like the bottom half of the bike. I really don't like those handlebars, but other than that, it seems like a pretty decent bike. Let's go ahead and hop on it and see how she rides. What's up guys? Currently on the High Boy EX6. And off top, I do not like these handlebars. <laughs> I hate sweat back handlebars, man. Like I get that people want a little bit more comfort, but me being a tall dude, like these joints is practically hitting my knees. Check it out. Come on, what's going on? But we're gonna ride this bike anyway. We got it for free. Let's go ahead and let you guys know if it's any good or not. I think I'm gonna take it on my off-road little track first. So let's go ahead and do that. Oh my God. I'm gonna change the gears on this joint. It's probably not the best idea. I do not have on my protective gear. And there's heli grasshoppers out here. Oh my God, I hate grasshoppers. Woo! Let's get through this one real quick. Oh, just got smacked by the tree. It has been raining too, so I need to take it easy. Here we go. This bike is freaking moving though. Currently going 23 miles per hour. Okay, not too bad. Everything's all overgrown over here. Let's cut through. Suspension test. Oh my God, it just bottomed out. Did you hear that? Woo, that's not good. I knew it wasn't the best, but geez, that sounded pretty bad. Woo, all right. So off top, it did not pass the suspension test. All right, let's move on to the next test, which is agility and power. <laughs> I feel like there's a creature lurking in this high grass. I'm not going to lie. Might be a little mountain lion in there. Whew. We're going to breeze past this section pretty quick. We're going to pedal. Currently going 22. Now, I'm not going to lie. I am pedaling like a hamster. It's all the way in seventh gear. 
the gearing on this is not too good oh my god hi boy what are you doing with this freaking bike Woo! but we are moving speed wise it's pretty fast i can't complain about that oh i don't feel the most confident around these turns especially with these handlebars oh this suspension is bouncy Woo! oh take it easy dave oh oh it's bottoming out still Woo! yeah i don't know i don't know this one might just be a cruiser guys Ooh, ooh. oh my god oh my god it was a freaking grasshopper on my helmet we need to get out of here asap Woo! all right whoa hi boy whoa nelly you were bucking back there bronco let's go ahead and pull you over jesus this suspension is not good guys so boom guys that was the first ride on the high boy ex6 i'm not gonna lie it did not perform well i think the highlight of this bike so far is the power even though it only has 500 watts it seems like it's putting out a decent amount okay as far as suspension man oh man this bike probably should have went without it okay this suspension fork is not going to be doing nothing for you if you're going to be riding off-road but by the looks of these handlebars this bike is not meant for off-road riding oh my gosh too bad the suspension doesn't have a lockout feature because i would definitely be locking it out this thing is useless What's up guys, currently at the designated hill climb test spot, about to perform this hill test. I wanted to switch it up today, we're going to do a hill climb first and then we're going to do the top speed run. First one's going to be throttle only, you guys ready? Here we go, three, two, one, go! Alright, let's see how well she does up this hill, throttle only. Now remember we are only working with 500 watts, so I'm not expecting the fastest speeds going up this hill. Let's go ahead and see, we're currently going 17 on the dash 16 in real life 16 in real life 15 in real life okay now we're slowing down eight miles per hour seven yep nope 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 once it hits seven that's it that once it hits seven that's it that's that that's it now this bike only has 500 watts like i was saying so to be honest i wasn't expecting it to pass the test let's see how fast she is downhill though oh my god we're currently going 26 that is not fast at all 27 27 is a top speed downhill. Oh my God. Let's check the brakes. Okay, not too bad. Mechanical disc brakes, by the way. Back at the bottom of the hill, the next test is gonna be pedal assist. We got it all the way up in pedal assist five. You guys ready? Here we go. Three, two, one, go. Let's go ahead and crank these pedals. We should do way better now that we're pedaling. Here we go. Let's drop the gears currently in gear four moving like a hamster but we should get some resistance in a little bit here we go now we're getting resistance let's go ahead and crank those pedals currently going 14 miles per hour the bike is slowing down it's putting out max power i can feel it it's slowing down 10 miles per hour as long as we can maintain nine hopefully it doesn't drop to seven if so it will not pass the test currently going nine miles per hour i think we made it guys the bike is at eight. Oh my god scary seven but we reached the top you got lucky high boy all right let's go back downhill this time we're gonna pedal a little bit see how fast she is Woo! hamster like 27 28 30 31 33 33 miles per hour 35 okay i saw 35 not too bad downhill now because the bike didn't do so good up that hill i'm not gonna even bother putting it up the second hill climb test we're gonna go straight to the top speed run don't want to use up too much of the battery once we get over there, I'm also gonna dive into the settings and see if we can make the bike a little bit faster. Let's test out the suspension now, even though we know it sucks. Oh yes, woo! 
Yeah, this suspension is pretty bad. I'm not gonna lie, guys. Now, I haven't looked up the specs nor the price. Now, if this bike is cheap, then it'll pass. But, dude, if this bike is more than $1,000, I don't know. All right, guys, currently at the designated spot, about to perform this top speed run. But before we do, let's go ahead and dive into these settings. Sorry for all the loud noises. They're doing some construction right near me. I don't know if you guys can see. Anyways, let's go ahead and dive into these settings. I believe you hold the plus and minus button. So P1 is going to be what exactly? That is going to be the screen brightness. We're going to leave that at two. P2 is going to be miles per hour or kilometers per hour. We're going to leave that at miles per hour. P3, that's going to be your timer to let you know when the LCD is going to be turned off. And then P4 is the odometer. You can reset it if you want to. Looks like that's all the settings. Looks like we can't make the bike faster. That's unfortunate. Let's go ahead and get this top speed run underway. First one's gonna be throttle only. You guys ready? Here we go. Three, two, one, go. Now this is GPS verified. Let's go ahead and see how fast this bike is. Off the line, not too fast. Currently going 14. It's only reading eight, what's going on? It's okay, we're currently going 18, 19, 20 miles per hour. Took a little long to get to 20. Let's see what the top speed is. I'm gonna tuck a little bit. 22, 23, can we go faster? 24, give me 24. Give it to me, 24, can we go 25? I'm gonna give you a chance. Can you do it? 25? No, you cannot. So it looks like 24 miles per hour is the top speed throttle only. Let's go ahead and do this pedal assist test now. You guys ready? Here we go, three, two, one. Go! Currently have it all the way up in gear seven. Let's go ahead and crank these pedals. My goal is to reach 28 miles per hour by the time we hit the end of the strip. Here we go. 20 miles per hour, 21. Legs are moving hamsterish. 23, 24. Come on, give me some more miles per hour. We're slowing down. We can't even go past 24 miles per hour on this bike. Whew. I'm tired. So guys, this is the High Boy EX6 Step Through Fat Tire Electric Bike. The price of this bike is $1,079.99. Now I know I said if this bike is over $1,000, it's not worth it, but that's pretty close, all right? They're not going crazy with the price. They're not overcharging you guys. There's definitely some other e-bikes that are in the thousand dollar range that are pretty good but that's the price of this one so the bike comes with a 48 volt 15 amp hour battery the max range on this bike is 75 miles the weight of the bike is 83 pounds so pretty heavy this bike does come with front suspension but to be honest with you it was trash horrible it bottomed out plenty of times it does come with mechanical disc brakes front and rear they handled pretty good. They weren't bad. They didn't squeak or squeal. The bike is rocking a 500 watt motor. They don't say the max wattage on this bike. I'm guessing it probably peaks at 750, nothing too crazy. They're also saying that the max speed is 25 miles per hour. We got 24 miles per hour today. That's probably due to me eating gourmet meals every single night. Overall, the bike is, 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 is mid, okay? It's just all right. Now, because of the price being so cheap, I really can't complain too much. Now, if they were charging like $1,200, $1,500 for this bike, I would say hands down, this is a no. But for somebody that's just starting off with e-bikes, you want to get your first bike, you don't want to spend too much money, this is a decent option. This is probably my least favorite e-bike by High Boy. Now, I have reviewed a couple others that I actually like. If you guys haven't checked out those videos, definitely check them out. If you guys want to learn more about this bike, I will leave a link to it in the description down below. Overall, I enjoyed myself. I did have fun. The bike is not the best, but it was a free bike. Thank you, High Boy, for sending it to me. Please send me more. If you guys enjoyed this video, hit the like button one time for your boy. That's going to do it, and we'll see you guys in the next one. Until then, deuces like that. Yeah.